Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize for my last video. It was a rushed video because I was asked to make a video for Black Friday sale. So I did open the camera here and uh, did what I could without knowing anything or not much about the camera. I did I did had uh, read a few reviews and uh, but that was all that I could do and so sorry if I have wasted your time but uh, that's life it does not always work out like you would like it to so anyway and unfortunately we did got hit by snow we have like a half a foot snow outside so I don't know when I'm going to be able to mount this in the car I will make another video showing the menu and uh, talk about it a little more but today's video is about the the 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen uh, from Maker Fabs that was sent to me and I am so glad they did because uh, I love this thing so for now this is what I have uh, it's just a demo menu and you will be you can touch the um, not hitting it right through the phone but uh, it does work and obviously these are just placeholders they are not doing anything uh, at the moment and it will have actually two or three layers so that's 15 buttons and then you can go to next it will move to the next uh, layer or you can go back and then you can go into another menu if you like so so and you can see esp demo video of course the background um, i did choose a carbon fiber look and uh, in real i mean if you see it in person it really does look like it because it uh, as you see it does change color uh, which it does in on real carbon fiber as well so you have that uh, 3D effect and even on the display you do get that 3D effect and which is kind of nice obviously you could uh, choose something else as a background but uh, and other colors and whatnot but this is what I'm gonna do go for for now and uh, I did design a case for it I showed you and uh, since I could not live without NeoPixels I did redesign the case and I want to show you the redesigned version oh. which is here with Autodesk Viewer and um, this is it so you do have um, I even forgot how many holes I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nine, ten holes I mean 10 new pixels and the holes are three millimeter by two millimeter so not they're not quite round uh, the reason for that is because i will use these little guys as neopixels and they do have that uh, shape which is wider than high so that's why i'm didn't just use uh, round holes but uh, little wider holes so these are the neopixels that we're gonna use and um, I just technically I just uh, added a little bit to the top to my groom for the neopixels and also inside obviously and I am in talks with two companies to get it CNC manufactured uh, obviously the first one will be very expensive and the other ones the more you buy the cheaper it gets 
but to buy a larger quantity for that I don't have the money to, so um, I don't know how it's gonna work out for now I still plan to put this on Kickstarter and um, for that I have to move to Germany actually because here in Bulgaria I cannot uh, participate in Kickstarter or Indiegogo they don't want us so that's the only possible way I will do that and I'm also thinking of since you could technically let me move down here again you could buy the same display the only thing that you need to do is uh, cut those tabs out and then you could use this one in that case and I do plan on selling cases only uh, as well so that will make it for you cheaper you can go buy your uh, display from Maker Fabs I am going to design my own PCB because I need other hardware on it additional hardware and what I'm also doing is um i am using a vertical type c connector usb type c connector the reason is i want the output to go out the back obviously so and the way this case is designed uh, i did tell you about this in the last video or the one before uh, there is a lip in the back and that lip and the the back of the case will be carbon fiber so that's why also the reason why I have carbon fiber on the top or in the front so there's a few reasons why I use carbon fiber firstly it does look great secondly it does uh, let radio waves through so all in the way in the beginning I thought I will make a case a uh, two-piece design and then just screw it together but then I would have no way of using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi with it and um, since it's gonna be carbon fiber I can use uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi I will add a GPS to my PCB so it will be GPS capable and um, it will have speaker mic it will it will have a whole a whole bunch of stuff on the PCB so it will be a multi-purpose PCB, not just for one product, but for anything you like. So that's what I'm going to do. So I also need, obviously, um, order the carbon fiber bags for it. And um, so the bag will be carbon fiber. And there is a lip here on the edge that's uh, point zero no. 0.6 millimeters deep and the carbon fiber I'm using is 0.5 millimeters so the carbon fiber will be inside or flush with the back and the only thing is that gonna be a little bit sticking out gonna be the screws so but that uh, in a way will protect the carbon fiber because uh, the carbon fiber will be you will be able to choose the shiny side up or the matte side and if you do like the shiny side, which currently I do like the shiny side, and if you put that thing on the table, it will scratch. So you will have slight bumps from the screws, and that will protect the carbon fiber if you lay it flat on the table or wherever. It will also have a LiPo battery, charging, and uh, all kinds of stuff. So... If I can put it on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, that would be great because then I can uh, come down with the price. If not, it will be a little more expensive. But just go out and check what you pay for CNC machined aluminum parts, and then you get the idea how much you pay for it. And obviously, whatever you can buy outside normally uh, is like mass produced, and the price is cheaper. And uh, for me, it's gonna be unfortunately not the case.
but I think it's still it will be still reasonable in price so anyway this is the menu I designed I really like it I had to fight with libraries to make it work and whatnot but um, I do like it so this is the first version I also did pick up some I wanted to show you some rotary encoders I saw these a while ago and uh, I kind of like them uh, you know my regular rotary encoder the round one do I have one laying around no I don't well I do oh, I do everywhere <laughs> yeah this is the one I'm normally using which you can perfectly use with one finger and um, but this is different and I kind of like it so you could use it with your uh, index finger or with your thumb if you have it uh, in in a case or something like that and it does also have a click button so technically is the same as this encoder here um, I bought them I like him I just don't know what I'm gonna do with them and it could well be that these things lay around for one or two years till I uh, have that uh, bulb turning on in my brain and say oh I could do this so but I don't want to wait one or two years if you have any ideas suggestions please let me know uh, I would like to hear it I would love to hear it and maybe I make something that you would like to have and uh, yeah this is it I had I bought two of them so you could oops drop it you could technically use two of them next to each other or more I mean it, it could be I don't know it could be a mixer a light fader I don't know it could be so much but I don't have that uh, the real idea yet anyway and these are made in Japan so they are quality does it say Japan there yes JPN stands for Japan well you get the idea if I say so it is like that <laughs> anyway so that was it um, again sorry for the last video that I made or butchered uh, but life sucks and then you'll die I'm sure you know that saying anyway this is it um, if you have any questions ideas suggestions critique uh, write them down in the comments and people there is uh, something below the video it's called description and I do have all kinds of links in there that you can click and check out if you want me to send or if you want to send me a message you can do so over my Tindy store I do have affiliate links uh, from Banggood and uh, none for this one for Maker Fabs. I'm not affiliate of them, but I did get this for free. So, and thanks again for them, and thank you, Banggood, also for sending me the camera. And uh, this is it. Take care, everybody. Till next time.